welcome to Stage Screen and In Between with Helen. I'm Helen Primus. As always, I have very special guests for you. I have a father and son filmmaking team that work together, and they also work independently. Rob Graydon and Josh Graydon. Welcome, guys. How are you? We're great. Thank you. How, thanks for having us on the show. Yes. Oh, I, I have to have you on. You have four submissions in the Long Island International Film Expo this year. Yeah, very. We're very proud uh, individually, and I'm also proud of my son who has two in as well. That's unbelievable. Now you have Wet Dog Films, right? And Josh has his own production company too, doesn't he? Yes, Tased Logic. That would be mine. Okay, very good. So I'm going to start with Josh. Josh, mm -hmm. you have something in the festival called Lights. Am I right? Yes. And that's is that a trailer or is it going to be a short film? That's a short film. Okay, you want to tell us something about that? Yeah, it's it, it's, it's sci-fi horror, right? Sci-fi sci horror? horror. Yeah, it was it was definitely inspired by both Lovecraft and um, you know John Carpenter and uh, different eighties horror movies that I love. And um, you know, me and my friends, we were just uh, we wanted to make a movie. And I got the new iPhone, which has an amazing camera. So we were just like, let's go out and shoot it. And so we went to my street corner and we shot it. And Is that it just, what you shot it on a phone? Yes. Good for you. And how many minutes is that? It's about three minutes. Okay. So now I'm wondering, is your passion for uh, that kind of film also, did you bounce that off your dad? Does he have that interest? Yes. <laughs> he was showing me John Carpenter movies uh, when I was in dark diapers. Oh, okay. Well, at least you're being productive <laughs> about it, right? And then um, Charlene, what was uh, Charlene? It has to do with the girl. And you had some pretty funky music in there. What kind of music do you call yeah. that? That was punk rock, I would say. Um, and we had, uh, that is a trailer for the movie. And we shot the feature last summer currently editing it now. I'm actually co-director of that. Peter and Janito is the other creative force behind that movie. And uh, what, what is that about? What is, it's a murder mystery type movie. That's how I'm describing it. But there's really a lot more. There, there's, there's comedy, there's drama, there's everything in and around that, but it's mostly a murder mystery. Was that done on the iPhone too? No, that was done on the Panasonic G7 and the Black Magic Pocket Cinema. Okay, so now does your father help you or do you just collaborate with your friends and fellow filmmakers? It depends on the project. Um, for Lights, he did not. And for Charlene, I, I mostly took uh, his gear and <laughs> uh, you know, his um, guidance when I could, but I tried to because that was really my first feature film, I wanted to try to do as much of that with my own knowledge as I could. Yeah, I mean, he, so, yeah. Charlene's a feature, how many minutes does that run? Yes, we're currently editing it. It's looking like it'll be about an hour, 15 minutes. Oh, okay, Let's see. So I wanna welcome you to my red carpet and thank you for being here. And you're really palsy wowsy you're both together and I'm glad that you're with me. Now, Rob. Yes. Mr. Shivers sent mm -hmm. shivers down my spine. I have to tell you, that was I'm a frightening. <laughs> well, that means it's working. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to know that uh, you're probably the first non-relative audience that's seen it. So I'm glad. Well, if, uh, if, rest if assured, it's my, you, then I'm glad. My hands were sweating. <laughs> I mean, that, that poor guy was getting, is the word tortured? Is that? Is that <laughs> yeah, is that yeah pretty much. With a very now, dark, um, a very dark uh, black comedic punchline at the end, if you recall. Yeah, I think I yeah. was too scared to get the punchline. You know, I watched to yeah. the end, but I think I probably had my eyes closed by then. You know, you know, it's funny. You know, years ago I acted in a few uh, horror movies. I also helped produce a couple, and uh, we ran out of fake blood, and uh, <laughs> we made it out of ketchup and barbecue sauce. <laughs> oh my, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your recipe for fake blood if you run out? 
Uh, that that um, Mr. Shivers, the blood in Mr. Shivers is actually all digital, believe it or not. We, um, yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we, we didn't have the, we didn't have the, um, we originally were, were wanted to build this, uh, a, a contraption that would actually hold my son. That's my son, my other son, by the way. Yeah. I noticed the, the last name in the credits. Yeah. yeah. So he, J Josh and I are, f are filmmakers, but Jacob really wants to become a, uh, an actor. So. He's um he he pretty much stars in all of our films. So you can do that for him. Is is that his uh, preference in film? Oh sure. Oh sure. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah. Really, it is. Okay. Now the other piece that I saw was pieces, which mm -hmm. I think was wonderful. Oh, I thank think you. that is a wonderful um, way that you spelt it too. Yeah. And uh, you could tell everybody about it. It 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 has sure. to do with that. You met the is it the grandson of Gandhi? Yeah, yeah. It, it, pieces is the the polar opposite of Mr. Shivers. Um, yeah, yeah m many years ago when I was um, I was doing a a, a a short film having to do with nine eleven uh, on um, nineteen oh six, which was the I'm sorry, two thousand six, which was the fifth anniversary of the uh, uh, the Trade Center attacks, and um, we I ended up getting an interview with Arun Gandhi. Who That's is the amazing, isn't it? Of, yeah, he's the grandson of, of Mahatma Gandhi. He lives in Rochester, New York. He just lives six hours from uh -huh. here. And uh, after the interview, he was very gracious uh, and and very um, uh, kind and very and, and very gracious with his time and very generous with his time. But when he was over, he had a speaking engagement he had to go to. So when he was over, we had to you know we had to pack up and we had to get out. And on my as I as I packed in the last bit of. Um, equipment into our car, I ran back in very quickly just to shake his hand and say, thank you so much for your time. And as I was shaking his hand, I noticed that there was a, a painting on the side of the wall, which was a, only about, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half wide, but it was about six feet tall. Uh -huh. And I, and I said, what is that? And he explained to me that there was a, a painter who came to his house one day uh, who had painted this gigantic mural, which basically depicted the, um, which was essentially the map for world peace. Um, and then he sliced the picture into, into several pieces and sent it to different people throughout the world. He was getting one of them. The Dalai Lama has one. There's one in Russia. There's one, I believe in the white house. Um, and, uh, and so his thinking was on the day that there was world peace, that the painting would come back together and form the entire thing. And that sat with me for many years because uh, because I couldn't talk to him anymore about it. I had to run out, but it sat for me for a very long time until one day I, I was talking to a friend of mine who was a, a film producer, and I said I told him about it, and he, and he asked me straight out. He said, "Why aren't you making a film about this?" And I looked at him, and I was dumbfounded. And I realized I had no. I, I said, "I don't know." I said, "You're absolutely right. I should be making a film about this." Yeah. And so and so you know through a lot of detective work and a lot of um, uh, uh, just uh, uh, you know, pounding the pavement. I, I discovered who the the painter is. He's a painter in Austria. He doesn't speak a word of English. I don't speak a word of German. But over the years, we've actually become good friends through Skype and Zoom and, and translators. And um, and that's the film. We're going to be uh, scouring the four corners of the world and finding these pieces of the painting to put them back together. And uh, along the way, we're going to be talking to a lot of experts on peace, on nonviolence, and, and nonviolent um, resolution, and people like that who are doing amazing work throughout the world. Yeah, well, I thought that it was, um, number one, you spell it pieces as yeah. P-E-A-C-E-S. Yes, correct. Even though it's in P-I-E-C-E-S. Yes. Right. right. And I really thought that the visual you had at the opening with the wars and deaths and, and the yeah. violence, yeah. you know, uh, and then it's about peace. And yeah. weren't pieces of this painting sent to people that they be were leaders that might have something to do with the world some, someday having world peace? Oh, absolutely, and 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 others who aren't as well, and and um, the the whole the whole um, point of him sending it to various people was that it's not going to be a walk in the park to get those pieces back. 
yeah. that it is going to be well it will be a lot yeah. easier than getting world peace i would think yeah pro well well that it's it's the symbol <laughs> you know it's the symbol that's that's the symbol of getting all of these people who own these pieces in one room or in one place um i he wants to do it on some holy ground um that's in israel and i think that's uh, you know probably the best symbol for you know uh getting every all these people together and and putting the pieces together you know and it was funny because uh what came to my mind was uh john lennon's song imagine yes uh -huh. imagine there's no countries it's easy if you cried and no oh, help absolutely. below us above us only sky so it's it's when you think about that yeah kind of because of all the the divisions some a lot of the man-made, like politics, et cetera, Absolutely. could be the reason I, we, we don't have peace. Yeah. And can, I let also, you on the, can I let you on a little secret? Yeah. His middle name is Lennon. Is it it's really? Not, his other son's middle name is That's Lennon. right. Oh, yeah. His middle name is Marley. Sorry. But our, our other son's middle name is Lennon. And, and it's, yeah, it's, it was pretty much because of that song. So. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, and, then, and then also, you know, John and Yoko had that song, Give Peace a Chance. So, of you know, and then just quite accidentally, I was looking for something you sent me, and I saw that you did a, a happy birthday tribute to John Lennon. Yes. Uh, which I thought was very nice. So I knew that you had a connection here with Lennon somehow. You had to with, with peace. Uh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You know, yeah being one of your films. Now, Peace, Pieces, is that a short film or is it just the trailer? Oh no, that's, it's gonna be, that, if that's a trailer. Uh -huh. uh, it is nominated actually at the, at the Long Island Internet Film Expo for best trailer. Good, I loved it, yeah. I really did. That's very, very good. But, but you're, you're working on making it a film, is that that's it? Because correct. you have yeah. to track down the pieces of the uh, puzzle. Right, it's yeah. A puzzle almost, right? Yeah, it is. It's it, and and it, you know, when we're not going to make a sort of uh you know, uh numbers and facts documentary. We're going to really treat it almost like it's an adventure film. Like it's uh, you know, um what's the film with Tom Hanks, the the Da Vinci Code or Raiders of the Lost Ark or something okay. where we're really going on this adventure to find these pieces to put them back together and and and, and absolutely learn things about uh, peace and nonviolence along the way. And so now what do you do about budget? How do you handle that? <laughs> well, that's what we're working on right now. <laughs> uh, you know, so much of, so much of, of filmmaking, uh, particularly at this level is, is chasing money and trying to get funding and trying to, you know, um, get it to happen. And, and that's what we're in the middle of right now is really is financing the film. And, you know, and it's hard to track things down during COVID when everybody has to stay in. I mean, you have to do right. it over the internet. I guess. Now, is uh, Dalai Lama's uh, grandson still alive? Uh, oh, uh, Gandhi's grandson is, yes. He's very much, he, yes, he's very much alive and still very active in the world of, of peace and nonviolence. And, um, uh, you yeah, know, I do actually owe him an email to, to let him know what's going on. Does, but, does he um, know? Does he know where the pieces are? Well, he, I, like I said, I, I've tracked down the, the artist himself. So the, the artist knows where all the pieces are. Oh, and the artist the, does know. Yeah. So, um, cause he, he, he personally delivered each and every one of them. Wow. Um, you know, but that doesn't make it any easier getting them back. No, and, I hope they didn't get regifted. Yeah, no, they, they, no, they didn't. <laughs> and I, I certainly hope not either. I, I think that would be something you'd hold on to. That seems like quite an obligation, right? To know you have this. Yeah. I mean, I would think that every person that has a piece of that puzzle is responsible for trying to do what they can to make peace happen, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I, and, um, and I think most of the people who do have that think of it that way. Yeah, yeah. So I was very happy and, and a little uh, surprised to see uh, the other movie Shivers and then Pieces, I thought it was going to be somebody in Pieces. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was happy. So, what other kind of films uh, do you do? You, you've got horror, you've got the Peace one. Do you have any comedies that you do? Uh, we, yeah, the, the boys and I um, have done a couple of comedy shorts. Um, I, for the past couple of years, have been working with a company that were. Um, they were the original creators of the Muppets, 
And what they've been doing is they've been creating, um, they're, they're called No Strings International, and they've been creating these elaborate, like huge production, uh, puppet productions for children at at-risk parts of the world. So give you an example. They, they did a, um, a, a puppet production for a landmine awareness for children in Afghanistan because there are more, uh, thanks to us and the Russians, there are more landmines than there are people in Afghanistan. Well, that's what so, uh, uh, yeah. Lady Di was trying to get rid of landmines. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, so they've done many productions for children all around the world uh, in situations like that or, or, or situations of trauma or situations of sexual abuse or human trafficking or, or even simple things like um, hygiene. There are so many countries that have dysentery or dying because they simply don't wash their hands. Yeah. So um, they address a lot of those, and I've been working with them for quite a number of years, um, uh, working in in that field. So uh, that's what I've been doing a lot of, and a lot of that is comedic, a lot of that is tragic, a lot of that is dramatic, and some of it's a little horrific. You know, it just depends on on what's going on in that region. I wanted to mention that I noticed on the poster that you sent me, you know, the promo material that. Um, Shivers was upside down. Oh yeah, right. And you'll get that when you, you see the film. I had to look at it twice, and yeah. then I saw all the credits were right side up. Yeah. So I said, "Oh, that was intentional." Yeah, and then when you watch the film, you realize that he's hanging upside down. Yeah. It takes a second to realize to figure that out. Yeah. Well, well, you know, it. Uh, I thought that was a, pr a pretty ingenious. No. So tell me, what what's next on your burner? Anything? Yeah, we we just we just. Um, <clears throat> finish writing and um and casting we 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 um we're doing a feature film completely in quarantine so um and it's and and the and the good thing about it it has nothing to do with the pandemic so okay. but all but all our actors are going to are are pretty much we're we're, we're shooting it through zoom and th and through skype and things like that right. uh, and it's a science fiction piece and and for now it's actually called watch dogs but we're going to be changing the title because there's a very famous video game called Watch Dogs, so we can't really use that title. But um, but it's gonna it, it, it'll be a feature length film. It'll be it's science fiction and uh, very, it's gonna be very emotional, and it will be ready for probably life's 2021. Uh, it'll probably premiere at next year's festival. Now, is this this isn't the first year that you've had films in the festival, right? You're a veteran here. Yeah, yeah. Um, last year, we my sh my other short last year, which was a short called Father, uh, won Best uh, Long Island Film. Oh, wow. Yeah, and um, we were very proud of that because we were up against uh, a short that had Sean Young in it and, and um, a feature-length film and uh, a pilot. About something. So, yeah, we were, we were very fortunate and very, and, and very grateful that, that we won. So I want to give out some of the times of your uh, the, your screenings. They're going to yeah. be virtual, right? This year they'll be virtual. Josh's and, uh, will be virtual, and mine is mine are drive through, drive in. Uh, what night is your the drive in? The third My, Saturday night. Yeah, P pieces is Friday night at seven. Okay. That that block. Right. And then Mr. Shivers, uh, we're very fortunate. Mr. Shivers is actually in the horror block, which is like the most popular block. Uh, and that's the Saturday night. That's Saturday night at 10 p.m. Oh, how lucky. Oh, that's at 10. Yeah. I'll be there at 7, so I'm going to oh, miss okay. that. So let me give – I'm going to give the information out, but this show will air – will be broadcast on television, but it'll be after the festival. So uh, okay. I'll, I'll give out the dates. But uh, if everybody just gives stage, screen, and in between with Helen a like on Facebook – they can find out when this will air on okay, great. TV. Okay. But for now, I will tell you that uh, lights, Josh's, uh, Josh's material will be at 3 p.m. on October 3rd, right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. And then we have Charlene is Sunday, uh, October 4th at 7.30 p.m. And then Mr. Shivers, as you said, is... Uh, on October 3rd at 10 p.m. at, at yeah. the drive-in. Pieces is going to be Friday at 10.02, uh, October the 2nd. Uh, that's 7 p.m. And is that the drive-in, did you say? Yeah, my films are drive-in. His films are virtual. 
Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I have some questions for you guys. Sure. Okay. It's time for a birthday present. Would you like to give music, clothes, a DVD, or dinner out? To, to who? To, to receiving a present or? No, no, no. It's somebody's birthday and you're oh, going to okay. give a gift. It could be to anybody. What, what's your preference? Do you like to uh, give a gift of music or clothes and right. a, a DVD I, I, of one of your movies maybe? If it was my wife, it would be either music or dinner out. I would say dinner out too. Dinner out. Okay. What would you like to get? A gift certificate for bowling? a massage, lottery tickets, cologne, something for filmmaking, or go on a picnic? Uh, I would say something for filmmaking or a, a <laughs> massage with a bowling ball. So, <laughs> A massage with a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I would guess, say... I don't think your wife oh. will be doing that. That sounds like <laughs> no, uh, no. something for a horror movie. <laughs> 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 All right. What scares you most? Lights out and the room being dark. Scary music. Spiders. Blood. Unlocked doors. Creaky stairs. Or groaning. Unlocked doors. Unlocked uh, doors. Yeah. What about you, Josh? Spider. I would Spider? say that. Yeah. Spider. Okay. Your preference of a movie. Friday the 13th, The Shining, The Exorcist, Psycho, or The Sound of Music? Oh, um, I love all of those. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Psycho. I'm going to go with The Shining. <laughs> the Shining, Psycho. Is it the Psycho? I mean, when, when we saw that as kids, I mean, we were so afraid to take showers. <laughs> oh yeah oh absolutely you know and that movie was in black and white the only thing that was red was the blood when it went down the drain yeah you, and that was chocolate that? sauce actually. yeah and that was chocolate that? sauce believe it or not oh really yeah. is that what they used yeah I, did, I didn't know that i didn't know that yeah okay your favorite your favorite food when you're watching a movie is it popcorn bonbons ice cream Twizzlers or malted milk balls? Oh, I know the answer to this. Twizzlers. Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate, strawberry, or the li black licorice? Usually in the oh. movies, if you're in the theater, they usually just strawberry. have the red. The strawberry? Yeah. yeah. I would say strawberry, but I do enjoy black licorice. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I like it a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you have a website that you would like to share with everybody? Um, sure. We, uh, I have uh, wetdogfilms.com. Okay. Uh, you have a YouTube channel. Yes. You can find me on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter at TazeLogic. Yeah. And I'm... Sorry. T-A-Z-E-D-L-O-G-I-C. Yeah. And then Wet Dog is also Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Wet Dog Films. Do you have any suggestions for people that want to break into filmmaking? Yes. Um, I would say study writing and also uh, whether you are rich or poor or whatever, just start making movies. If you don't have the money to, to own a camera, grab your phone, your phone shoots video and just go out with your friends on the weekends and shoot short films and just keep shooting, just keep shooting um, because every, every little bit that you do will count towards you learning how to make films. And, and, and uh, you know, if you have the money to go to film school, uh, go, I suggest. If you have, um, oh, you can, or, or just go to YouTube. YouTube is an amazing film school. You know, there's a, there, there are hours and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of, of learning material there. Um, Josh was very fortunate because he grew up on movie sets. So he didn't need to really go to film school. He went, he went, he, he, he learned by being 
set with with you know Academy Award nominated uh, cinematographers and um, and 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 Emmy Award winning puppet builders and directors and things like that. So he was always a Round. Yeah, I would say go out every weekend, um, shoot with your friends. Uh, if you've seen a movie, try to copy that movie. You know, just figure out your own style. And, and by copying, you know, if you like Quentin Tarantino, try to recreate a movie like you would do, like he would do. Or, you know, if you like uh, Edgar Wright, follow that type of style. Whatever filmmaker you enjoy, follow their style. And then eventually you'll create something that's your own style. Okay, well, I'd like to thank you both so much. And uh, well, the, thank best you for of having luck, us. Yes. the best of luck in the festival. I'm, I'm sure that it's going to be very exciting for you. And I hope you win. You've got, you got four shots there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you okay. very much. Bye now. Take care.